Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just playing around with this motion tracking in Vegas Pro. I just want to say I love Vegas Pro. It's my primary NLE that I use. I think it's a fantastic program. They've tried to add motion tracking in the past and every iteration of it's a little bit different, but unfortunately I keep seeming to have problems with it. So I'm just going to walk you through how it's supposed to work and you tell me, you can tell me what you think. I already have uh, been experimenting with this, so I'm just going to close off these clips and I'll just go through some of the issues that I'm finding that don't seem to work for me. So to start with, we're just going to go ahead and drag a clip down to our timeline and yes, we'll match it. We'll come to the end of this clip right there. And we're just going to literally do like seven seconds of footage. This, this is really nothing here. It's just a drone shot. And I was thinking it'd be cool to put something on the side of this building. It already has a mural on it. Maybe even that's a little too long. I just want a short little clip. There's nothing wrong with this clip. Plays fine. Everything's good. So you turn the scroll wheel, you can stretch this out a little bit. I don't usually start projects right at zero, 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 zero. For this tracking, I would. This is the first thing that doesn't really make any sense to me is you go to FX here and you'll come to motion tracker. You go add and you go, okay. And it tells you to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you looking for me? Oh, I'm not here. I'm over there. So it's like, well, I just think they should take it off of there if it's not an option. And maybe it's going to be an option in the future, but it just seems weird that you click there and that's not where it is. It's over here. So it's in tools. You got to come up here, video, motion tracking. And here, here's a little box pops up and it, it auto names it region one. And there's our mask. And what I understand is you just corner pin this to whatever you want to track. And I want to track that building. The one thing I wish is it was easier to get to a full size screen, but when you're doing stuff like this and what you got to do is come to that and you can make it a little bit bigger to work so you can see a little better what you're doing. And I understand you just corner pin this. Oops which seems easy enough and that's that okay so we're done with that and here's the second thing i don't understand is it's got this precision setting but honestly i don't know who would ever want a motion track set in and say ah you know it, it doesn't have to be <laughs> uh, you know how, however you're going to do it just half do it 50 percent motion track it you know it's like wouldn't you always want it track correctly and accurately i know I, I realize it generates more data but you know come on you know if you're going to track something you're going to go through this work i, I want it tracked accurately so i don't understand this option and then the mode is i'm pretty sure this would be a perspective because we'd be shifting on the x and y there might be some movement there and a scaling a little bit so to me this would be all of the above right isn't that what perspective is I think that's correct. And I think that's correct for this, right? So we want perspective. Now this part's just real simple. These controls are real straightforward. You can just track forward. So we're gonna track forward. Mind you, this is a very short clip. This is only five seconds or so, but it tracks pretty quickly. And then we're done. Now this box, if you close it, it's probably worth learning the shortcut keys, which is Alt M because then you can just bring it back up because I was like, well, where, when you get rid of this box, where did it go? How do I get it back? And how you would get it back, strangely enough, is you come in here to FX and you could click on this and that you'd think that that would bring it back, but that doesn't bring it back. So the only thing you can do is hit Alt M kind of get, gets it back. So if we hit play, we can, whoops, let me stop. Let me go back to the beginning of the clip here and hit play. Now see why is that off? That seems way off. Where did we go wrong here? That's what's been happening to me all day. Wasn't I on the first frame? Okay, look, let's go to the first frame. Let's pin this like that. I guess you can go a frame at a time if you want. But that seems like it would take a while. Let's track it forward. Know what's happening do you see that the mask is like changing that's got to be a bug that can't be right it's supposed to be tracking okay so i have no idea what just happened there but it that did not work out so let's let's try it again okay let's let's try it again i'm i'm all good here uh at least i'm here turning the scroll wheel let's let's uh there's some weirdness going on 
Okay, so I'm scrolling the, turning the scroll wheel again. Here's my clip, just to show you, there's nothing wrong with this clip, okay? Although it seems playing back kind of sluggish right now. I hate to drop the preview down, but... Okay, it seems like it's playing kind of sluggish for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, this is turning into a bigger disaster than I... <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. We'll go up to tools, uh, video, motion tracking. Okay, I'm on the first frame. I know I'm on the first frame. I'm going to click to add a mask, which is region one. I'm going to drag this over here. I want to track the side of this building. I'm going to corner pin this mask thing, tracker thing to the side of the building. Right? And I don't know, it's red. Is that good or bad or... Should that be green, all green? I don't know. But anyway, let's hit track forward and see what happens. Now it's tracking something. Let's see. This is just real time. Okay, so now let me hit play. Uh, let me go back to the, make sure I'm on the first track. Hit play. And it looks like the mask is attached to the side of the building, but it looks like it's jittering. It, there's some jittering movement there. You know, I don't know what to tell you about that. I see some jittery movement. I don't know what that's from. Okay, so now once we've got our motion tracked, if we come down here, I can hit Control Shift Q. I got two, now let me resize this now. I'm going to delete this track because we don't need it. So now this is our sample image. Whatever you wanted to motion track onto your video. It could be a picture or a graphic or something. We're going to bring it right here. And there it is. Now what we have to do is go into effects and add picture in picture. So we'll go ahead and do that and go OK. And there it is. And then my understanding is we want to be on the... I can just close this window. Oops, I guess I can't close it. Now to go back into picture in picture, you just got to come back here and click on picture in picture there. I guess you can't X out of that window. Okay, so now we're going to just resize this. Make, oops, I messed up. I want to make sure that I'm on the first frame. See these windows kind of get in the way here. I wish you could minimize this window. I don't know why this window isn't minimizable. So we'll click there. Okay, now we're on the first frame. Now I can resize this thing. And I just want to put this on the side of that building. Like that. Okay. It shouldn't go anywhere. I'll leave it a little bit big. Okay. Then once that's done, now I guess we can close this window. We can go back on our motion track. If we want to call up that function, you got to hit Alt-M. And then you simply come down to here go sample picture in picture and supposedly the motion track data has been transferred to that image to the picture in picture and if we hit play it seems to be kind of stuck to the building there the problem that I have now the next problem that I have is if I go to render this out and I can use the highest quality settings that there are which I do have in here right now. And I'll just go File, Render As, um, and I'll just call this Test. I've done this a few times already. Test 7, Render, yes. So it just takes a couple minutes to render out. And so I want, I want this feature to work, you know, but it just doesn't seem like it's quite there yet. Hopefully in the next builds, they'll get a handle on this to me, I'm just not getting good results with the whole process. I don't understand. Okay. So I'm going to go open. Let me play the video. Now, I'm playing this video back. I see some weird movements here. So it, it is stuck to the side of the building, but it's the whole thing is, is moving. And I've tried it with location and some other things, but something's not right here and I, and I don't know what the problem is to be honest with you. Well it is sort of stuck to the side of the building 
but I'm just not getting satisfactory result with this. So I'm not sure what the problem is, to be honest with you. So, so I'm very grateful to Magix and all the work they've done on Vegas Pro. It's just this particular feature just doesn't seem like it's there quite yet so i hope they get a handle on it so anyway if you want to try it yourself there's a lot of tutorials on how to do it i've watched other videos and they seem to get better results i'm not sure why i'm not getting those same results so anyway take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time